All right, cool. So, Charing Cross Police Station. There's a bike outside. Are you coming out? I'll hold the door for you. I'll hold the door for you, don't worry. Thank you. Hold the view or so hold it. Yeah. Right, okay, so Charing Cross Police Station. Perfect time in that one. Yeah. Someone will come down and ask the same. Maybe. Maybe. Well, that was, I think that was a storage box. <coughs> oh, it's a big box. Important box. Like an ammunition box. Ammunition box, exactly. I think you're going to get a website. Yeah. yeah you're going to so. get a website. <clears throat> okay, so that's a bit of information for you, so you can uh, speak to someone with the appropriate information if you want that. Right. Um, you need to go on to the Metropolitan Police website and go on to the events. Right. The events. Because you see, what I do is, yeah, I'm sort of loosely classed as a protester, right? But I, I would never ever apply for protest. Okay. It's not it's not in my remit. It wouldn't happen. That's fine. That's fine. It's not about applying. No. Just go the... Although I have been labelled a protest leader, which is not true. That's, that's... I've got it on search documents. Yeah, which isn't good. No. No, no, no. But the thing is, though, I've got a feeling that there's an officer here today that could clear a few things up for me if I got to speak to them. Okay, I'm not sure. No. I, I couldn't tell you, I'm not that officer. No. Your best thing for you to do is go on to the Metropolitan Police website, go on to the events and planning team, okay, and contact them with an email address. Do that, so you can get in contact with them regarding your issue, because I'm not going to be... Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, that's yeah. the best thing for you, to be in contact with the... Just the events, person. events and planning. Yeah, okay. that's the best thing for right. you, to get in contact with the right person quicker. Yeah. For your matter. See, I've got a feeling that's not going to help me, though. Well, I don't have any... I yeah, don't have any it's not really going to help me with what I do. Can you see that? What's, what yeah, events... No, it makes sense, but that, that almost sounds like... Is there no email? Is there no contact? That well, we, we don't, the only way you can contact them is via that one. And you, I think you probably send a request mm. with your email address. Because you see, it's funny. When you, when you go outside... As a beacon of light, should we say? I know it sounds a bit cliche, but freedom, right? You go out as a beacon, a beacon of freedom, yeah. cultural, right? You, you then start getting targeted by security police. And over the last 12 years, I've had victims in my face with their cameras. Yeah. Constantly happening. I've been told my Facebook is being watched by Metropolitan Police in the past. Okay. This sort of stuff is not on. It shouldn't be happening in this country 
on this date, you know what I mean? So, no, I know you can't comment on it, but I'm just here again to just verbally tell you that this is happening, that I'm an artist, that I'm free on the streets doing what I do, legally, and I want to know with the new policing bill where this is going to go from here, so. Okay. So no one else has come up with the same sort of request? No. This Never. is the first time you're hearing this sort of? First time. First time I've heard today. Right, okay. Yeah, first time. Okay. Interesting. And there's no sort of officer or sergeant on site that can that no. we can speak to there's no one there that's <clears throat> what about what about if i felt i was harassed today via a team out on the street that i can actually pin to a certain police station yeah can we file a complaint or yeah can i file a complaint on that obviously a different um but it'd have to be done on a website again so there's no so there's no face-to-face -face, um uh, recourse within a police station anymore with an officer when you have a concern. It's always via this, is it? It'll be via that, yeah. Well, wow. okay. That's, the, that's, the best that's interesting though, that's rubbish in itself. Yeah, so I don't get Where's that. the Understand. justice? Yeah. Where's the justice in it all? The so, so, what, so what about 101? So, if you want to make the complaint, I've given you the applicable website. Right. Okay, I'm here helping you out. I'm giving you the... So, okay, so this events and planning, is this for events and planning from the police end or is it people that apply to... Is it people that apply to, like, maybe start an event or a protest or... Because I need to clear that up. I think it's got a little... Another one. Well, any info is good. Hand up. So, booklet. Uh, this is the... Uh, leaflet, okay? Right. This is for you. If you want to make a complaint, you can go yeah. through that. Okay. That's, that's, that's Okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll take it anyway. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah, That's all right. You never know. I might be back. Cheers, man. All right. Cool. Thank you. Take care. Last time, last time we had a sick down and I actually served them a verbal notice and they took it. So. Yeah. Uh, Can we do, oh no, just leave, let's leave that here for a second. Let's just see. I want to actually find out yeah. about this as well. Yeah. I want to find out from Eva Wa yeah. yeah. in regards to having your artwork inside the police station. Well, I don't that, think it's not are there any reservations on this on their side? Do you think? Hmm? Do you think they got any reservations in regards to you? Probably have, not. There's nothing. No like one said this. anything here, and you saw all these police officers walk past, yeah. and that no one really no. paid attention to it. So. That in itself is something. That in itself is an indication of mm. opportunity, potential. <laughs> but I want to find out from the gentleman or the lady. Mm. I'd just like to know what terminology they're using within protests, how they're targeting certain... Well, that's the thing, that the terminologies that they use are, to some extent, ambiguous, and that ambiguity is the reason why there's so much distrust in the police because you don't know how that police officer is going to interpret that bit of legislation. Exactly that. Mm. Mm. That's cool. I'm a fan of uh, Czech patterns. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, at the time I was kind of thinking like sort of scar, but also they got the Masonic checkerboard around their hats as well. Yeah, so. yeah the Audi, the Audi, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. A, That's kind of why I went. Is that really. connected mm -hmm. to... That's right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. But is that connected to, like I said, I don't think if, if, if it's connected to Freemasonry as such. I know the Freemasons also use that same. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't But I don't know if it's actually connected, connected to it no, because then, I don't think where does it stop? What about chessboards? And... Yeah. No, I was kind of thinking sort of uh, ska music at the time and you know what I mean? You got um, that song by Smiley Culture as well, Police Officer. Yeah, that was actually why it was done, that was why it was made, because of the way that he died. Remember, on, the, on his arrest, apparently, he stabbed himself. Because they allowed him to make a cup of tea during his arrest. Doesn't happen, don't believe him for a second. The, the what? That's what they stated at the time, they allowed him to make a cup of tea while he was being arrested and he stabbed himself. And that was the official report. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See again, that's my main bugbear is that we're heading towards a technocracy and once they start once they start ankle tagging people, you know what I mean? Just for simply joining a protest or organising one, you might be potentially tagged. You know what I mean? No way. Is that actually something that's been right. let's be a, let's be a bit brave here. I'll show you I'll show you this video. It's alright, they'll probably turn me turn it off. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit anyway. 
I want you to watch this video because this, this came out today. <laughs> See how they feel about um, I won't have them right now. But just so Let's see what they say. Right, like, seeing as we're in a PlayStation, record this. Let me just I'll go connect your Bluetooth. Almost the entire media reported a scripted comment by Zuella Braverman. She talked about Guardian reading, tofu eating, woke karate. And this was considered to be quite daring and funny. But almost none of them reported what she was doing when she said it. What she was doing was pushing through the House of Commons the most repressive legislation of the modern era. And she seemed to do it gleefully. She reveled in it. She enjoyed it. She grinned all the way through it. The Public Order Bill is the tool of dictators. It's the definitive termination of our rights to protest. Perhaps the most sinister aspect of the bill is what it calls serious disruption prevention orders. These are orders that can be served on anyone who has been to a protest in the past five years or encourage anyone else to go to a protest in the past five years or in any way has supported a protest in the previous five years. You can be subjected to the kind of restraints that dangerous criminals might yes, face GB. when they're released from prison on probation. Well you have to report to the exactly. police as and when the it's police like come. You are not allowed Less to associate conditions. with certain other people. You are not allowed to go to a protest or encourage a protest or possibly you can look at protest related materials online and you can be forced to wear an electronic tag and have monitoring equipment installed in your home. I've seen some people say, well, they can't do it to everyone. I mean, if millions of us protest, they won't have the resources to force us all to wear electronic tags. But that's not how this works. The way it works is that they do it to the specific people they want to target, to their political enemies, to those they want to scapegoat, to those they want in particular to discourage. And that is how the politics begins. UK politicians love to lecture other nations. Get to do this in a piece. They should practice good guns and you should be like us. Definitely. You think this is the first time that's this been played on the police station? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whistleblower and journalist Julian Assange thrown into effectively a dungeon in Belmarsh Prison, just being left there to rot for the crime of exposing the misdeeds of the power. And now we have these extremely oppressive forms of legislation. The police can now arrest anyone who protests. The government says, oh, no, 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 we're not shutting down protests, just protests which causes serious disruption to two or more people or to an organisation. That's what we're prosecuting. Two or more people. But the Police Act, passed earlier this year, has two or more defined people. serious disruption so that it now includes noise. So any protest deemed to be causing noise is causing serious disruption to two or more people guys. or to an organisation. Take a In picture words, if you want, bro. Any protest. Well, because Labour is going to repeal all these repressive laws, isn't it? It's a party which grew out of the Labour movement, which okay. is all about protest. Uh, are you here to complain? Are you here to follow? No, no, but then we're missing, so come on. Bill, we're on the doors. Okay. Headline policy. Okay. Hopefully, you find him soon. Hopefully. Are you from Trenton? What part of Trenton are you from? I'm Labour voted I don't know where I used to play Power League, Nobri Power League. You know about that, no? Yeah, I used to play football there, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, but you. you, you is it alright? Is all good? Good, that's good, that's good. Amazing, amazing. Great. Did they help you? Did they help you find them or what's happened? Yeah, they were looking for Cool. Oh. What was that?
would you say your experience of police's police service has been in your experience? Well, I thought the Trinity Mecca was the uh, front end of the trip. So um, a lot of people join and they want to, they kind of end up, what sort of people is it? They kind of join and they end up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they end up basically going, going for a front of gun cops with one deal of people on the street. Right, okay. So, you see a lot of people joining for the wrong reasons, they just want to have a gun, so they join that business. And, um, yeah, they're not people from outside of London, so they don't have people. They've got all sorts of ideas for their job. And, um, yeah, they take all the action onto the streets. So, um, yeah, it's How easy is it to join? It's easy to join, right? Sorry, no problem. Um, I've spoken with the team and the other upstairs. But that's the thing. How do you? People have much patience. But how do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do you? Because that, that itself in itself, I think that's like a not inherently something that all humans have. But I think through the system and the, and the way the system and establishment and the way people have been indoctrin indoctrinated throughout. I mean, like, remember we are only as good as our parents or our households. So if we come from a household that's broken in some way because of society or because of system. You're only going to be as broken as your household. So if you then become a police officer or a person of, of authority, yeah. you're not fit for purpose because yeah. you're like to be enforcing the law, you need to be over a certain standard. And if you're not yeah. able to be that standard, then and I think that's the way. They do. I think we do psychological testing. Such. They should. If something goes wrong, but I think that that's, that filtering should be that mechanism should be implemented at a sort of enrollment stage when they're, when they're hiring people when they're bringing people on board well, that's when they should be doing it. The very beginning of the test on the university application they get a basic psychological test. But it's very basic. But it's very basic and those tests you can, you can bypass. Yeah exactly you can know what to not be a psychopath. Exactly, exactly. You know, you know the right options <laughs> yeah, to tick. You know what to tick yeah. and what not to tick. Yeah, that one, but no. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of obvious now to update it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I feel like there needs to be a more stringent system, something that's a bit more watertight and a bit more fit for purpose. Yeah, um, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're trying to talk about. All myself here. I've got, I've got a bike that's on the back. So, you know, do all the background checks. That's just to make sure you're not. No, but I understand that. But then, with the, with the same, just to give you some feedback. So, how, did, how, how does the person like Wayne Cousins get into the force? Because he had the previous thing. So, how did he get in? How did how did you? No, but if, if you're no, but if you're saying that they're doing criminal checks, so criminal backgrounds. So, so, what's the name for it? Uh, background checks, CRB check. So if they do a CRB check and then do a financial check on your job. Yeah, Stephen doesn't care about it, you have to go for these checks. How did he sort of get through the net? How did he get through the system? Well, he probably joined at a point where he wasn't in financial difficulties and that sort of thing. So he was supposed to declare and that sort of stuff. Every year, you sit down with Sergeant, you know, like, go through this list of things like, what sort of thing would you know? What's your, what's your finances like? All this, all the questions. That's come in. When I joined, I never got lost at all. After that was then, that's what I That's what I But also... After I joined, I never got lost at all. Yes. But... But also, just for argument's sake as well, I feel like Wayne Cousin is just what we got to see. How many instances, incidents, we do not see? How many things get swept under the carpet? The report. Oh, dismissals. How do you get dismissals? National. Freedom of. Dismissals and dismissals and. Is that freedom of information? Yeah. Still there. Anyone's got brought up on a charge. Could be charged. It's all there. So you see, the thing's been absent. 
Right. What actually is taken? Be surprised that what actually taken with lots of things. Have you have you had the chance to read through the latest report that came out about uh, constabulary and fire and emergency services that was released by His Majesty's? Uh, have you heard, have you said, I've read through it. There's some things in there that like, you just think like, wow, wow. I think they were saying there's about 700 and almost 800 instances of um, wrong people getting into the police service within the last 24 months or something crazy. It's like too many people are getting in that shouldn't be getting in. And, and but the thing is, but because it's an independent of independent uh, organization or body authority. They're recommending, they're making recommendations to the police forces to make certain adjustments to facilitate, you know, a better system. But the police just ignore, not ignoring, but for some reason they're not, they're not taking action. All these and systems, are, it's very bureaucratic. It's like a civil service, but down a few levels down, so all the different systems. Everything is a bit busy. But even the, even the new head of police, you know, the, the new, uh, you know, he's been appointed to trying to make a change. You know, 30 years of reform has not got us anywhere. You know. It's not really. It was better than maybe, but again, at the same time, is it better than it was because of sort of the exposure of the good things? Yeah, because there's lights, lights on, so there's things that have changed. I was 18. That's why I tried to find me. Oh, did you? I didn't have an interview. Cautions. That's changed. That's what I'm saying. 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 That's what i revelations in regards to how police officers are treated by the police system itself so meaning if you are a police officer and you've been a victim of crime and you report that crime and the crime is investigated by your fellow officers and they find that there's no further action or they're not going to proceed any further there's no way for you to appeal or to complain so now think with that in mind female officers sexism and force all these different things moving parts that come into play how many officers have been victim of crime. How many officers have filed a complaint or have filed a crime report as such, and have and have website. not got any anywhere? Yeah, I'm looking at the website. That's you see all the um, it's called DPS, the yeah. director of um, police services. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they go basically police to police, so they they'll do stupid shit. They they love to uh, keep people out or finding more expenses, and then all of a sudden they'll. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That sounds like the one, yeah. yeah. Thank you. You too. Have a good one. Yeah. Decent. Decent. All right. Well, as you can see, we managed to get in. We've got in Charing Cross Police Station. You know. Go on, after you. So you get directed to your website. That's as good as it gets. And that's the, I guess, that's where we are. Age of technology, age of uh, information. You know, that's, that's as much as you're going to get. You're going to get a website. And then you go to a website. And then what? And and try and see what happens. But. Yeah, I'm going to check it out as well, but I feel like the website is, it's, I feel like it's insufficient. It's insufficient and it's not, 
What's giving you the time of day that you deserve. As I actually said to him, I felt harassed today. There was no. And there was no recourse at all. There was no recourse. There was no. Um, it's, it's sort of itchy. I don't know. It's like it, it, it's just it like made no sense. Way. Yeah, it, it didn't register. Put it that way. It did not register with him at all. And I guess if 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 you're complaining or you're harassed, you, you know whatever you're complaining against, it's not. It does not resonate with them. It's you're not, not going to get anywhere. It's not. You know. No, it's just literally hand over this leaflet, and that's the answer. Yeah, but that's that's not. I feel like that's not no, it's policing. Not good it's not. Nothing. That isn't policing. That isn't right. policing. You know. They are. They're going somewhere. But yeah, this is. Uh, off to McDonald's. Off to McDonald's, probably. Yeah, probably off to, God knows what. Yeah, last time I was in here, I did get to speak to a sergeant, and he did listen. To be fair, he did listen. But the thing is, what's this bike doing here? First of all, it's got no seat. It's got no seat, no chain. <laughs> The brakes are broken. I don't know, it's a bit next to a police station. Um, hopefully it's not a decoy. Might have to decoy for some while. <laughs> Who's going to take that? Someone takes that, they're taking the first. Um, the interesting thing is that there was no um, reservations in regards to us being inside the police station. Which is a, a bonus. Which is a bonus and I guess, can we use it as a precedent? Because now we have footage of it, I can say that. Look, yeah, yeah. We've well, come here before and, you know, no one said anything. No, and again, I've, I've had my artworks up in there before in the windows that weren't being used, yeah. so... Not only did not did no one say anything, you know, yeah. we had police officers that came around and looked at it. You know, one of the officers, maybe not a serving officer, but like a, mm. you know, someone that works in the police force, complimenting your work, saying yeah. it's a nice artwork. So, yeah. with that in mind, it's... It can be done. It's a place to build on questions that we might have, maybe. It can, but... I feel like also maybe there's an element of not media training, but hind the, the side because so many people came to this police station. I feel like there's been yeah, some of sort course, of communication yeah. that's been cascaded down saying, look, if anyone comes through recording, all the is, just don't react. We'll have Do to not, try another police station. Yeah, you have to go somewhere where they Lewisham haven't been. Yeah, something. Lewisham or... <laughs> um, yeah. What was the one that was recently, everyone's been going to, but probably no point going to it now as well. It's probably the same as this now. Um, it's called, I think it was Kentish Town. Let's pick a really, yeah, let's pick a dodgy one where they take all the protesters too out of London. Yeah, maybe Kentish Town. Kentish Town or what else is there? What about Brixton or is Brixton? No, Brixton's doable as well. But I feel like th those stations, they've been done and they, because they've been done, they're not going to be as... Exactly, they might be expecting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna, they're going to be expecting, they're going to be media trained and if they're media trained, this is the sort of, you know, interaction that you're going to get from them so it's not great well you certainly don't want to go to a protest with no noise and no art and no color because what is that that's the thing but i guess also if we come and we actually set up this protest and we voice the protest as as where it is we say that we're actually here to protest boom 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 i have that report printed out and ready for us and we can reference it straight away and say Look, this is why we're here even have the report maybe as artwork. Yeah. You know, why create artwork? Yeah, exactly, if that could yeah. be artwork, no, yeah. it's a message. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're here to to share a message, and that yeah. message is loud and clear. That's a nice hat. I want. To, I need one of them. I want one of them, one but of obviously them. not with the police white, on no, it. The white, yeah, but okay, like audit something, but yeah. with that checkered mark and just yeah, resemble. We'll make, we'll make you one. I think that would make be that would be interesting. They'll bug out the back wall. It's this. <laughs> Another idea was to potentially get. Uniforms like from 17th century, like 18th right. oh, okay. century. Okay, I like that idea. Yeah. Like, okay. Go but proper please, old bill. Yeah. 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 Proper and turn up and see what they say because you're not impersonating yeah. the police officer no, you're because not, it's because it's from a different century. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I like that idea a lot. You can get them mm. those suits. You just rent the suit, come through. Yeah. You could even dress up as a suit and in, in, yeah. in the suit as well. We can get a couple of suits yeah, and yeah. then yeah. come through and do that. That would be interesting and that would be they sort of out of the box. Yeah, that would be out of the box. So it'd be like, what the fuck is going on? But yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, brilliant. All right, I think that's basically it now. I think we've we tried. There's not much. We'll just get leaflets ready. Now. Yeah, we got leaflets. We got a website, and that's pretty much it. That was Charing Cross Police Station. Recorded inside, everything. Um, 
What are we doing now? Heading back to you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have one more half pint before I jump on the tube, I think. All right, let's head back. That was really rather uneventful, wasn't it? But it was all right. It was okay. I mean, it was all right. It can be done. It, it, exactly, it can be done. That's another thing I want to do. See that? Yeah. Tuskers. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Tuskers have got cameras all around them. They've got 360 oh, right, cameras. Okay, yeah. So right now we're standing there. So all those people that walk past that Tusker, they've been recorded. They don't even know it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So every, every time you walk past the Tusker, if right. it's been activated, some people, they're not using wow. it. But okay. if, if the person's activated it, yeah. it's got cameras that can record oh, it all wow. around. So get one of these Tuskers, yeah. bring it down, leave it outside the station. Yeah. We do our thing. When they come out and do the same thing, like, why are you recording? Why are you doing all these things? Yeah, yeah. They say, well, okay, cool. I'm doing these things because A, they're legal, not breaking the law. And yeah, B, yeah. Yeah. there's a car right there that has cameras fitted all around the 360 in 4K, recording yeah. all of us, you, me, everyone. And you're not saying anything to the to the car, but why are you picking on me? Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. What's going on here? Yeah. So you're picking on my camera, but there's six cameras on this vehicle and it's okay. Yeah. And this vehicle's recording this right now, potentially as well, but yeah. so what's going on? Yeah, we kind of do live in that age, unfortunately, where you watch all the It's the age of technology, this age of information, age of communication, everything's so instant. So, yes. so you don't need that link to the ankle tags and... Yeah, but that one there, I don't... Hopefully... Hopefully it's not gonna... pass as a... actual legislation. Do you, show me, you want me to take one of them? I, I can take one of them if you want. But yeah, I hope it's not going to be a situation where, you know, powers that be, not powers that be, but people, the good people are going to let the system implement such a tyrannical sort of mechanism to police and control people. Of. Imagine it in the wrong hands, that kind of power. You know what I mean? The thing is, to an extent, it's already happening. Yeah. To an extent, like, um, you know, like, anyone that comes out from jail, they're on license or probation, that sort of thing. They usually have tags and they usually have things, but I don't know, man. I feel like it's... So it's like the protesters that they might deem as being problematic. It's like going way above the beyond. Like... Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's it. Yeah, Tesla's can record 24-7. Maybe not 24-7 because the battery will die or maybe there's limitation in regards to space memory but yeah the premises that tend to record purple purple gun yeah so that's it that's it for now tune in next time hope everyone's safe everyone's cool have a good weekend next time peace